Yo, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of, well, it's technically not Levitation Fridays. Come to think about it, I don't even have a name for it. Levitation Sundays? Sunday Sermons? By the time this comes out, we're going to have a title for it. But first things first, welcome to the new year. We're blessed to have made it out of 2020. A lot of us dealt with a lot of hardships. and We battled through a lot of storms, including myself. And a lot of us are looking for this new year to be a new chapter, for new things to occur, you know, uh, new experiences, new opportunities to happen. But a lot of this newness that we're looking for is not going to happen without a new perspective. We can't go into new situations and new opportunity with old baggage, our old flaws, our old mindsets, our old negative behaviors. And if last year was anything, it was a a time for us to observe ourselves and make those necessary changes. However, one thing that I've learned is that we can't make these changes on our own. It's too ingrained in us. We have to rely on a different source. A lot of us see last year as a bad year. Let's just be honest, it just was a terrible year. A lot of negative and bad things happened. Some of it was within our control and some of it was outside of our control. And as as an example, sometimes bad things happen and it just stop you in your tracks. You can be in progression to what you believe to be the route that you're supposed to take, but some things come in your life that stop you immediately in your tracks and put things on pause for a little minute. Our natural perspective will tell us to see that as a bad thing. But this is where a change in perspective needs to take place. More importantly, this is where trust in God needs to come forth. In the middle of your storms, in the middle of your bad moments, you gotta trust that he will provide, even when it don't look like it. You gotta trust his characteristics. You have to trust his promises. This trust in God is the thing that changes your perspective. Because again, you can't do it by yourself. A lot of times we rely on ourselves. We say, oh, I'm going to make this change or I'm going to do this or I'm going to cut this off so I can do this. And we rely on our own capabilities and our own mindsets. Let's be real and honest. We are limited. We limited, we flawed. We are flawed individuals. There are some things right now that you and me should be doing, but we don't do. There's some behaviors right now you and me should be changing, but it's a little hard for us to to knock those behaviors off. It can't change on its own. We can't do it by ourselves. Let me turn this exposure down because I'm over here shining. We can't do it on our own. We have to rely on a greater and higher source, and that source is God. And listen, relying on God doesn't mean that the problems go away. That doesn't mean that the bad situations stop. That doesn't mean that you don't encounter storms and you don't encounter negative situations. But relying on God in those storms give you that confidence and peace. And that's something that's priceless. Romans 8 and 28 says, all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called to his purpose. Right then and there, just reading that, that gives you a different perspective. It gives you It gives you a a different insight to know that all things work together for the good of those who love him. Now look, that is conditional. That is a requirement on our part that plays into that. And that condition requires for you to love God. And loving God means to obey his principles, to actively seek a relationship with him. Cut off behaviors that you know displeases him and those who are called to his purpose meaning those who are actively working in the purpose that god called them to do see the only way you can believe that scripture and trust in that is to build a relationship with them well how you build a relationship with them you build a relationship with them by reading not just reading just to read but reading to study reading to apply secondly is by praying i'm not talking about the morning prayers i'm not talking about the grace i ain't talking about the prayers before you go to sleep i'm talking about all throughout your day when you have time as a matter of fact you need to make time to communicate with god Make time to thank him. Make time to to express your problems with him. And thirdly, exercise faith. Listen, there's going to be things in this word that goes against what your flesh wants to do. It goes against what you naturally want to do. And it takes faith to believe that and to obey that. So those are the three elements in which we have to uh, consistently practice in order to build that relationship with him. And once we build that relationship with him, that's when we can truly 
experience a change in perspective and you can look out and see all hell breaking loose but you have that inner peace your mental health is not affected your physical health is not affected you know how many people have developed new health issues because of last year and it's not because of the virus it's because of stress it's because of anxiety changing our perspective this year is the most important thing that we all need to do to, to prepare for what this year has to bring because i I have a funny feeling that this year is not going to be no more better than last year. And that's not to speak that into existence, but it just, it's just reality. Romans 12 and 2 says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The world's perspective and the world's way is flawed, and we naturally adapt to that way because we live in the world. But this year... Let's make God our new perspective and let's experience what he has for us this year. This is levitation. Let's reach our highest potential. Oh, I know y'all thought it was gonna be the old saying, but listen, we changed the perspectives. Last year and the years prior, we was talking about being worried about the haters. Listen, we are so unconcerned about the haters that we are not gonna even mention them. They don't exist to us. We focusing on us. We focusing on how we can get better, how we can progress, how we can reach our highest potential. Stay blessed.